Okay, I'm playing Warhammer Quest for the PC, originally a 1995 board game by Games Workshop. Warhammer Quest, Quest, board games and Games Workshop. In 1990, 1989, Milton Bradley went over to Games Workshop and said, we want a board game. Um, games Workshop made a Dungeons and Dragons type board game, and it was titled Hero Quest. Hero Quest was softened up a bit so that younger younger children with not advanced mathematics could play Hero Quest just just as easily. Hero Quest went back to Games Workshop. Well, they did have several releases and some of the expansions were only made were only released in the UK. It's actually several expansions for he the Hero Quest game system, board game. Then Games Workshop made their advanced Hero Quest, and it used more of their usual Warhammer um, ballistic skills, weapons skills ratings. Then in 1995, they released Warhammer Quest. Uh, my friend, um, who had who ended up committing suicide, he actually told me about Warhammer Quest in 2015, so 2014. And when I went to, to search it, I found a hit on Amazon Complete, but it was about $500. This uh, couple weeks ago, I my um, brother-in-law reminded me about Humble, Humble, Humble Bundle, and Warhammer was one of the Steam games from Humble Bundle. And now I have Warhammer Quest. And I've enjoyed it. I played seven hours, six and a half so far. Now here, when you start and you click on one of your warriors, you'll see that some of their inventory is ready to be used, but any special skill skills. So let me press these... Um, dagger buttons. Actually, if you click off of your characters, you'll get the end turn option. Okay, to get your inventory, you have to click on one of your characters, click the daggers in the bottom right hand corner, and now you can get a little more information about them. So, rare items, uncommon items, and green common items. <coughs> Excuse me. So up here on the left, upper left-hand corner, you you can click on the star, and the star is where they leveled up. Okay, so Lakoi Golden Branch is level three Wood Elf Way Watcher. I'm gonna call her she. The Way Watcher is able to dodge attacks whenever she is attacked. She has a chance to dodge the blow, so it causes no damage. The Way Watcher is able to attempt a heal. Is attempt to heal herself or a wounded companion. The target is usually healed for one to six wounds. Sometimes the treatment will work better than expected, but there is also a chance that the Way Watcher. I cannot read that word. Anneals the slave incorrectly, incor causing more harm than good. And that's true. I found this out last night when I was trying to make a video of this that you can actually hurt your guy for like five wounds or so. Dreg Forge Hand, level two dwarf ironbreaker. The ironbreaker iron breaker is able to make the most of their opportunities in combat. Whenever he critically hits an enemy, it, he causes twice as much damage. Okay, and at level three, he, he'll get a new special unlocked. New skill. Okay, so right now I'm using the Left click button. You just hold it down and you're able to drag through your guys. Who do we have here? Okay, I'm using my scroll to come up here. Druze, Groby Smasher, level 3 Dwarf Troll, troll Slayer. Slaying. When the Troll Slayer critically hits a monster, he cleaves through the monster's defenses with ease. For that blow, the Troll Slayer causes an additional 46 damage depending on his battle level. Level. His next special, the Troll Slayer. Troll Slayer takes fewer wounds than normal whenever he is damaged from physical sources. The level of damage 
reduction increases with the Troll Slayer's battle level. Now this guy. Golf I Bitter. Level 2 Iron Ogre Iron Gut. Mighty Swing. Attack the targeted adjacent enemy as well as anyone standing to the target's left or right. Causes damage proportional to the ogre's battle level. And will also hurt your other guys. Thick Skull. Passive. He gets a plus one toughness now. Now to get your inventory, so those two daggers. Now we'll click on the top. And it'll give us a little backstory. Wounds and their weapon skills, ballistic skills, movement, toughness, wounds. That's augmented. Okay, my ogre, Iron Gut, is having trouble. He finally did level up, but he takes a lot of hits and he misses all the time. So I'm trying to concentrate on leveling him up. This formation, I always have my two dwarves up front. Okay, so now there are random encounters. All this um, is decoration. It doesn't mean anything, and you can't search for treasure. There's, like, no really exploring. Like, you can't search the bookshelves and such. Kind of like Hero Quest. Most of the Hero Quest, they... There's, there was a lot of um, decorations on the board already. So now that my guys have moved, I'm going to click off screen and just tell you how I can use it. With the left mouse button, you can click a part of the map and rotate around. With the scroll button, with you can zoom in and zoom out. And then your right one does click on your people, but it also rotates if you just click on the map. It'll help rotate the angle. So once my guys are finished with their moves, click off screen and turn. And then sometimes we have an encounter. Attacked. Error boys. Time seven. Seven of them. Orc error boys. Okay, archers. Click on them. They can, sh they can use a bow once. Your ranged weapon, they can't be in melee um, reach. It has to be outside of their reach, so at least one block away. Two shield and one melee. So they can hit once and then use the range attack. Okay. So you really got to plan out how you're going to move your guys this. Golf, golf, golf. He really needs to get some hits in. And then you do get pinned down. Is he pinned? No, yeah, he's pinned because he can't move. So I'll try and attack this archer, or boy, so I can get Goff out here. So if he attacks, then. Duets won't be pinned down and he can move out of the way. Now that Drang has attacked any attack, he can no longer move from that spot. Good, because he only has one hit. Oh, and he goes for an extra. Home run! If you get like a home run, you get to go again, and it won't count against your melee amount. Okay, so now that he, now that Goff is done, we'll send in Drutz. And he has two uses. See, he got a home run, so he went again. But, and he still has one melee left, but there's no one in his view, and now he can't. No one in his reach, and now he can't get to them. Okay, so Lakoi, she can run up here and use a melee, melee attack, but then she won't get to use two of her ranged attacks. I'm going to use both ranged attacks and just decide not to move. Miss. Usually when I miss, I go to another one. Hit. Now I click off screen and turn. Uh. 
Okay, so I'm going to try and get Gothk over here. Yes! He... He used to whiff. Okay, I get a consumable stone bread. Heals one to six. It's random. Takes a whole turn. Okay. It says dwarves on here. And it's only worth ten gold. A hearty round loaf infamously baked by dwarves that is said to contain rock dust instead of flour. Whilst it suffers on taste, stone bread rarely goes moldy and is very fortifying. Add it to our stash. Okay. Now, Lakoi, she can use her herb lure on herself. Let it takes like a double click, so it goes like kind of like. Are you sure you want to use it on that? Okay, I do. Click. Failed. So now, I'm gonna end my turn. Encounter. The room is home to an horrendous stench. Such is the fetid smell that some warriors can only involuntary gag rather than remain in a battle-ready posture. Holding breath, holding breath. I think they all they all succeeded in holding their breaths. Okay, now Lacoy. No. Goff Goff has to move over. Ah. Uh, what is it? Doraz. We'll move down here. Drang. Then we'll put... Nakoi Here, and then I'll have her use her herb... On herself. Yay, two wounds. And this game, it saves after every end turn. It automatically saves. Warriors phase. Okay, here's the thing. You're at a split. You're at a fork. If this takes you to the actual end of the round, you won't get a chance to come back. So if you do find the final guy, you're going to want to run back and explore more for experience. Usually you get encounters when you go to a new room. So all this is just decoration. Meaningless. Nope. No, no, no. I always want them to be one before, so they're always close together. Warriors phase. Now I've never let one of my guys actually die. And I bought the like upgrade upgraded version so I have extra people to pick from. Attacked Goblin Boss. Times one, Night Goblin boss. Times five, Night Goblin. Okay, let's strategically plan this out. Okay, so Duras can basically move over here. Let's see. Actually, I will get Goff over here. Use his mighty swing on this guy. Yes! Wait, no! Mighty swing bad! There goes his melee. It didn't even do anything. No! Okay, I think Duras might be pinned. No, he's not, because he can move where he wants. Let's go after the boss. Night Goblin boss. 
Hit it again. Hit it again, Sam. Okay. McCoy can has pretty good. Let's go after the boss. Ah. Let's go after this guy in the corner. Good shot. End turn. You can fast forward. Okay, luckily these guys are pretty simple. Okay. Hit this guy. Yes! Now hit another guy. That's it. One hit wonder. Okay, now let's see what we got. Enchanted Fragments. This item has no use in combat, but can be sold on the market for 87 gold pieces. Sun dries and small, but essential items for all your warriors adventuring goods. Needs, goods, whatever, add to your stash. Okay, end turn. Good, we went down the dead end. Because the more people you get, the more experience you get. The faster you can train them, more gold you have to pay to train them. So we need our leaders back front. Okay, somebody's wounded. Use herb lure. Yes, I want to heal drink. Two wounds healed. Okay, and turn. She can use that every turn. How awesome. Two wounds healed. Thank you. If there is a search button for treasure, please tell me. Right now the decorations seem uh, rather pointless. Which, if you've ever seen any of the decors for um, advanced hero quest, the tiles look just like this. Warriors phase. They don't seem to be matched up. They seem to be walking a little different. Just one more. So if they land in this block, they'll go straight into the next room. Encounter attacked giant critters times five giant spiders times two giant bat times five giant rat Okay, and they get to attack first I guess One hit wonder wiffle ball Let's see Let's do a melee attack here. Miss. Let's get these two spiders. Let's get this spider. Let's not even do anything. Here you go. Get this one. Okay, so they both still have one more turn. I might actually use the firebomb. Nope. Let's see. Use it here. One, two, three, four, five. I want to use it here. My guys might get hurt. Fire. You got to click that little fire icon. Right? If 
fire. Do it. Fire. Double clicked on it. Ooh. Yeah, I'm using this through Steam. Okay. Okay, we're finished. End turn. Let's fast forward it. Yes, he hit back. Oh, he did it again. How awesome. Guessing that means she can't move. Let's put him over here. Wiffle ball. Let's end turn. Because I... Okay. Get him! Yes! Get this one too! I'm going to move her back so she has two arrow. Nice. The accessory. Embroidered quilt. This item has no use in combat, but can be sold at the market. Sundry, sundries and a small but essential items for all your warriors' adventuring needs. At the stash. And turn. Relax, guys. Warrior's face. Let's group up. Attacked orcs. Five orc boys. Three orc er boys. Er. Okay. I can put Gofk over here and he won't block the entry. With. Good shot, old chap. Orc bit, Orc Spain. 250 out of 500. Achievement progress. Yes! Yes! Yeah, do it, Doug! J in uh, Mallrats. Squirrel of Fire, a consumable. 9 to 12 damage, 300 coins. Squirrels in the old world contain wards of power. When read, the script will leave the parchment, and a dread, dread hex or boon is enacted. Add to stash. Back in formation. Herb lower, lower. Come on, Lacoy. Heal your bodies. Failed. Warrior's face. Seven wounds. End turn. Attacked. Greenskins. One night goblin boss. Five orc boys. Let's see. Perfect. Yes! Oh my gosh. So close. Going to try and leave those guys for golf. Now that I have a healer, I don't mind as much. Ah. Yeah. Ah. 
Hit him, Goff. Yes! Uh. Accessory, Cracked Magic Orb. This item has no use in combat, but can be sold at the market for 13 gold pieces. Heal. Good. And turn. Encounter. Drang Forge Hand is confronted by a slumped, cowled figure crawling towards them, calling for help in a Hideous voice. Examining. Upon reaching the stranger, the warrior realizes that offering aid was not a good idea. The figure slumps in their arms, dead, his cowl falling to one side and revealing his plague-ridden face. Boils and pustules cover the stranger's cheeks and his eyes weep a thick yellow fluid. Your warrior's quick reflexes mean he's able to jump back immediately, avoiding any infection from the fallen fighter. The warriors leave the festering body alone. Two wounds healed, thanks to Lecoy. Two wounds healed. Perfect. Everybody's healed. We can go on. We should be nearing the end. As long as we don't get another fork. Attack. Greenskins. Night Goblin. One boss. One Night Goblin boss. Five Orc boys. Okay. Dreng's gonna come over here. Miss. Hit him. With. Home run. Miss. Yes. Not enough, though. Sometimes, sometimes, you gotta kinda look back, cause they'll come in a room or two behind. Everybody loves a game of wiffle ball. <sighs> These dice rollers aren't doing their job. Accessory, embroidered quilt. This item has no use in combat, but can be sold at market for 15 coins. 
sundries and small but essential items for all your warriors adventuring needs. Add the stash. I need to get her over there so she can use her herb lure. Yes. And turn. Let's get him up in formation. Let's get him in formation. And then we can resume healing. Attacked Err boys. Five orc Err boys. One, two, three, four, five. So I gotta make a way. Perfect. See if I step on there, the next doorway will open and we'll probably have another encounter. <laughs> then Lacoy needs herb lure. Consumable holy water, 11 to 14 damage, only usable against undead. Witch hunter. Files of holy water, blessed by priest of Ulrich. Sigmar or Manan are deceptively powerful artifacts to have on your persons, especially when facing vampires and their thralls, as the gods of the Empire despise such creatures. Add to stash. Let's use our herb lore before we end our turn. Failed. Back in formations. Let's see. Nope. I wanna. Okay, here's their health. Healed. Healed. Slightly hurt. Herb lower. Failed. Encounter. The room is covered in strange ooze that clings to the walls and ceiling of the chamber. As the party enters, the ooze trembles slightly, as if sensing the change in the air pressure and the body heat of the intruders. Within seconds, the ooze has slid off the wall and solidified into one amorphous mass in the center. It lunges at Dura's groby smasher, attacking what it perceives as the greatest threat. Fighting. The warrior breaks free of the ooze, but has been partially ingested in the process. Even as it spatters across the room, the party can see it starting to run together and start to reform its true mass. Better move on. He is hurt. One wound. Still gotta hang out here. Heal his. Four wounds healed. Failed. Minus two, a hit. Failed. One last time, and we'll move on. Enough wounds. Oh, that's full heal. Huh? A 
attacked orcs. Five orc boys, three orc error boys. Are there any behind me? No. Home run. Miss. Home run. Home run. Let's see if he can get this weakling. Good. Let's have McCoy attack with the melee. And then two arrows. Very good. Home run. Accessory, holy artifact. This item has no use in combat, but can be sold in the market for 37 gold pieces. Sundries and small but essential items for all your warriors adventuring needs. Add to stash. And Encounter. Drang Fong Forge Hand is confronted by a slumped cowled figure crawling towards them, calling for help in a piteous voice. Piteous. Upon reaching the stranger, the warrior realizes the offering aid was not a good idea. The figure slumps in his arms dead, but his cow falling to one side and revealing his plague-ridden face. Boils and pustules cover the stranger's cheeks, and his eyes weep a thick yellow fluid. Your warrior's quick reflexes mean he is able to jump back immediately avoiding any infection from the fallen fighter. The warriors leave the festering body alone. Let's get in formation and then we can Lacoy can use herb luar 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 We're gonna move on Attack Greenskins Night Goblin Shaman Orc Boys Okay. Home run. Miss. Whiff. Whiff. Let's see if we can bring Drang over. Whiff. Whiff. Guaf. Yes, buddy, old boy. Goblin shaman. Shaman bad. Brings war. Actually, I'll bring her over here. So she can do herb lure. And get rid of the shaman. Perfect. Team in progress. Green Skinner. Accessory, gold ore. This item has no use in combat, but can be sold at the market. Sundries and small but essential items for all your warriors. Adventuring needs at the stash. We have two that need help. Failed. Attacked, river troll. One river troll, two night goblin with bow. 
Oh my gosh, I have not seen one yet. 58 hit points. Three must be a thick hide. Nice. Miss. Oh boy. Patty and Selma from The Simpsons. Mm. Yeah, get him! Oh my gosh. Oh boy. You're gonna get to see my guys die. Failed. Consumable. Draught of Weapon Mastery. Plus 10 strength. Significantly increased chance to hit with a melee weapon. 1300 gold pieces. Definitely would take the gold. Like potions, there are many different arcane ointments and lotions that have been concocted and dispersed across the old world, found in forgotten cellars and dark lairs. Let me actually just... The damages are pretty... Let me go to my inventory, daggers, potion of strength, heal, draught of healing, who needs healed more, this guy, Drang Fong, let's go to our inventory, let's put that in his blue, even, okay, the thing is, the, the thing is, you have to have the items in your inventory before you get in a fight, because you can't access your inventory in a fight. So sometimes you just want to load up. But it also takes away space. Healing? Healing? Nope. Healing? 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 Nope. So who has two healing items? Click on him, Trapped of Healing, use on yourself. Nine wounds. And turn. Herb Lure. Hit for six. Good one. Well, we can at least get it out of the way. Uh oh. He's getting kind of close. How many more hit points does he have left? Seven. Okay, let's try it one last time. Failed. I mean, let's try it again. Just, uh, oh no. Orc boys, orc arrow boys. Five of them. Error, error, error. Herb Lure. Fail. Potion of Healing. Used. Yes! Do it again! Uh. 
Home run. Home run. See, if they walk too far away, they're going to have to walk back. And that's when you, when your team usually gets split up. Does he have a potion of healing? Nope. Whew. Archers, you generally miss. Let's try and hit him from afar. Consumable, lesser squirrel of protection, plus three toughness. Add to stash. That way he can come back and I can use herb lore on him. Five wounds. Oh boy. Attack giant critters. Three giant bats, four giant rats, four giant spiders. Oops. Home run. Meh, whiff. I'm hoping to get through this so we can go to town and show you the market and everything. There we go, everybody's health looks a little better. Home run! Come on! Oh. oh my gosh. The dice roll just aren't rolling correctly. Yes! Hit that bat! Oh! Double home run. Failed. Lesser Squirrel of Fire, 4 to 6 damage, 100 gold pieces, which isn't always true. Amulet of Wildwood. 
The warriors can see the amulet of Wildwood within sight, but it is surrounded by a horde of monsters who look eagerly on at the warriors with hungry eyes, desperate for the taste of man, elf, or dwarf flesh. The creatures are not choosy. Attacked. River Troll. River Troll. River Troll! Six. Night Goblin with bow. Uh. Let's try and... Oh, boy. Let's go out to the River Troll. I've been thinking about switching him out. See, he'd get a lot of experience if he could just hit. Oh my gosh! Come on. You can really use this. Come on. Hit me. Come on. You know you want to hit me. Hit me. Hit me. You know what? Joker. Uh, the Dark Knight. Come on. You know you want to hit me. <laughs> okay. Herb Lure. Good. Wiffle ball. That's what we play here. We play wiffle ball. Good show, old chap. Oh, we can. Let's just go in with our bows. So, this is basically the end. Amulet of the Wildwood. The warrior's fight has ended in victory. The river troll lays dead at one of the adventurer's feet. Freed of the dungeon's boss, the warriors take the amulet of the Wildwood as their prize. They also come across a small hoard of stolen treasure, which the warriors promptly hump themselves to. Helmet. Amulet of the Wildwood. Three. Plus three max wounds. Decreased chance to be hit with a melee weapon. Wood Elf Waywatcher can use it. Thousand gold pieces. A uh, hood enchanted by the spell carvers of the Athol Loren. The hood and its wearer are charged with wildwood and precipitous energy of nature and its most chaotic and unpredictable. You receive 80 gold, which we can use to level up. Quest complete. Amulet of the Wildwood. You are victorious. Let's see how many monsters and level up. Yep, you can finally level up. Looks like everybody's going to be leveling up, but I don't have enough money to do it. 
the draws beat out. Halflings love their food, but I can't read it because it cut it off so quickly. Sterland Quest, two out of nine. Let's go over. Oh, travel. I love this intro, but it gets kind of boring. You just left click. Beautiful, isn't it? It shall be mine one day. Level up, level up. Level up. This guy really needs leveled up. Adventurer's Guild is where you retire them. Only go if you're going to retire your guys. Training grounds. I'll be 500 to train him. Train him. No new abilities. Achievement progress. Up. Oh, weapon skills. Up one. Wounds. Up three. Back. How much would it be to train? 1,000. Okay. Train. 500. Oh, I have that. Strength up by one, toughness up by one, wounds up by three, mighty blow active. The Iron Breaker is able to trade in all of his remaining melee attacks for one potentially massive attack. Each attack the Long Breaker gives up will multiply his strength. Nice one. Let's see how much your level up is. Only a thousand. Awesome. Let's go to market. I always do buy these because they're so cheap. Pistol, ranged weapon. It's for a witch hunter. Ooh. Martyr and dwarves. I have a dwarf. These two handed axes are deadly. In the right hands, their dual blades can easily cleave through the toughest enemies. Let's see what we can sell. Sell it. Might as well use it. I don't want ten gold. Oh well. Holy water. These bags just means sell. Okay. Who needs leveled up? Thousand. Training grounds. Train. Ballistic skills. Her BS is up by one. Her wounds are up by five. And she has hypnosis. The way Watcher is able to send her a self-induced hypnotic trance and heal herself. The skill may only be used if there are no enemies in the same rooms room as the Way Watcher. Entering the trance takes up the entire turn during which the Way Watcher may do nothing else. At the end Squirrel down. At the end of the turn, the Way Watcher is healed proportionally to their battle level. If I sold, if I can sell 500, 600, which I can. 
Now I can level up. Training grounds. Train. His WS is up by one. His wounds go up six. Room to move. It's passive. The Troll Slayer has plus one weapon skill when fighting in open areas of dungeons. Well, thank you very much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed. Well, I'm thankful for your view of my review or intro of Warhammer Quest. Go adventuring. Go here. Rescue Alexa Wellaborn. Quest Undead Travel. I have all these other options, but these are the four I chose for my team. Ready. Do you prefer wooden spears and flint axes? Maybe deep down you're a savage. Let's get into formation. Mighty blow. Mighty swing. Uh, look, she has hypnosis or herb lure. This guy. Oh, I gotta put their equipment on. What can he use? Absolutely nothing. What can he use? He can use some bread. <laughs> Give him some bread. What's this? Let's do damage. Aha. Take this away. She's a healer anyway. Max three wounds. Ah, what? Oh, here it goes. So she... Oh, I can only have one of these. Max three or max one? Hmm. Oh. Thought I had something for the... Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Let me end my turn so I'll save it. Halflings love their food and have never I'll never get to read that. Thank you.